On the 10th of September 2020, the owner of a 14-year-old female not spayed golden retriever consulted me about her dog passing blood in the urine again. Two years ago, she had the same problem, but the other two vets had treated her with antibiotics and she recovered. She has lost a lot of weight recently. Your dog passed blood in the urine twice in 2018, I said. Did she pass blood in the urine in 2019? Did the two vets do x-rays to check for urinary stones? No, is my answer to both of your questions, Miss Tan replied. Do you feed her dry or canned dog food over the past 14 years? I asked. No, I feed her home-cooked food since she was a puppy. Do you feed bath raw diet? I asked. Yes, I feed her the bath food for many years or home-cooked food. The bath diet. Bath is an acronym that stands for bones and raw food or biologically appropriate raw food. Some dog owners believe that adult dogs thrive on what canines ate before they became domesticated, such as raw, meaty bones and vegetable scraps. As the owner did not feed dry dog food, this eliminates the possibility of the dog developing urinary stones in the kidneys and or the bladder. The stones irritate the lining of these organs and cause bleeding. Blood in the urine is the symptom of an urinary tract infection. All walks of life coming together in a city-state Singapore. Close to over 6 million residents with 91% home ownership rate. Chronic hematuria is a situation where there is blood in the urine for a long time or for several episodes of urination. To diagnose the cause, the following laboratory procedures should be done. These are, first, practice evidence-based medicine by using laboratory aids to diagnose, two, blood tests, three, urine tests, and four, x-rays. Here are the results of the blood test that I have consolidated in a table form. So as you can see, the blood liver enzymes are elevated, which indicates a liver disorder and or infection. Furthermore, from this table, the total white cell count and high neutrophils indicates bacteremia, which is the presence of bacterial infection in the blood circulation, as well as leukocytosis and neutrophilia. This means that the dog's immune system is producing more fighters to get rid of the bacteria. The bacterial infections of the urinary tract lead to urinary tract infection and the presence of blood in the urine. Moving on to the results of the urine test, we have vet clinic 1, 2 and 3 tests side by side comparing. According to the latest test, urine tests confirm a UTI with hematuria. This is a urinary tract infection with bacteria present in the urine. Now, how serious is the UTI? From the 3 urine tests, the dog has an alkaline urine which favours the growth of bacteria. The bacteria causes urinary tract infection. In vet clinic 2, the urine contains truvite crystals. In Topayo's vet's urine test, the urine does not contain crystals. The absence of crystals does not mean that the dog does not have struvite stones in the bladder or kidneys. Hence, the present solution is to do a feed trial for 3 months. The therapeutic diet heals LD is recommended as the dog has liver disease. This dog's liver is the largest internal organ with many functions including the digestion and conversion of nutrients. The good nutrition plays a vital role in this process, hence we encourage a therapeutic diet. Hill's Prescription Diet LDK9 is a complete and balanced food that provides all the nutrition your dog needs specifically to help protect vital liver function. These are some highlights that points out about the beneficial nutrition of the food. Because of these functions, it really helps to reduce liver workload, allowing liver tissue to regenerate and many other more. Will this diet acidify the urine to stop bacterial infection? I have no data on hand. 
If this dog does not suffer from liver disorder, I will recommend Hill's CD which is proven to acidify the urine. In conclusion, the 14-year-old Labrador Retriever has liver disorder as evident by the presence of high liver enzyme levels. She has no jaundice. The dog was prescribed with xanthonia and antibiotics for hematuria. X-rays and ultrasound tests of the liver to check for liver tumors and gallbladder stones or obstruction. Therapeutic diet is advised based on the dog's weight of around 27 kg. The daily intake should be at least 313 grams. Switch over to new food by the 7th day and do not give other food or treats for the next 3 months. A blood test and urine test to be done in 3 months. As you can see from the urine test, ketones were present in the urine. The urinalysis came back with no glucose but some ketones present in the urine. Ketones are a byproduct of fat breakdown, which may become poisonous when too much built up in the blood. This usually occurs when the animal lacks insulin. Thankfully, the urine has no presence of glucose, therefore it's unlikely to suffer from diabetic ketoacidosis, which is a potentially fatal condition that occurs when presence of glucose and ketones are high in the urine. Dr. Sing Kong Yuan personally delivered the dog food as the owner was too busy to collect the diet. The dog's liver can recover as soon as possible but it needs the therapeutic diet. 24 September 2020 The dog is not passing blood in the urine and is eating 110% of the therapeutic diet and had gained weight. How do you know that your dog has gained weight? Dr. Sing texted her. Her stomach is visible. This stomach was present for the past 5 years. The owner will monitor if the swelling increases in size. Vet surgeons are Dr. Sing Kong Yuan and Dr. Daniel Sing Jong Chen. This video is edited by Cheyenne. For more videos, please visit our website or call in to our clinic.